Oh, she's looking fine today in that dress. Oh, that booty looking big. What's up, guys? If you haven't, go ahead and make sure you go ahead and drop me a follow on Instagram, and I might just follow you back. But for now, let's start the video. Mm. 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 Um, I'm going to get um, half and half. And then I'm going to get um, half and half as well. And then a little more on the um, black. I'm going to do carne asada. And then some of this right here. Yeah. Um... What is up, man? Welcome back. Welcome back with the Chipotle on deck. The baby monster burrito on deck. It's no games. It's no prisoners, guys. You saw what I got in this mother. Look at this shit. What kind of bro? This thing is massive, dog. Look at this. Um, today we're gonna get into some relationship advice. Um, I did a poll. And um, those were the top two things, but I want to go with the relationship advice first. This thing is massive. It's no games. It's no prisoners. I need a thumbnail real quick. Um, I should do it like that. Let's take off the top. But first of all, I'm going to show you guys what I do when I go to Chipotle. I get my sour cream on the side, okay? And then I get a side of red salsa, okay? I take the red salsa. Pay attention because it's just bomb. It might not look as, like, super appealing, but the taste is awesome. And then what I do is um, I take the top off, right? So then I do is I add, actually, mm, let me do a slurp first. Then I add the sour cream inside the salsa, okay? Now what this does is got, oops never fails what this does is it gives you a spicy um like a spicy sour cream let me give you a close-up real quick so i don't spill it it gives you a spicy sour cream right and then when you go to chipotle guys ask for some taco shells okay taco shells on deck and instead of like spending money on chips you can just um eat them with the taco shells guys really simple you know very simple little hacks, you know. So I forgot a fork. So then what you do is you take the salsa and you and you pay attention, right? You take the salsa and you just mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. And you get a spicy like sour creamish type of like almost like like salsa dressing. God, hold on. Mm. Mix, 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 mix. Mm. Mm. And it comes out to that. Mm. And then you can even slurp it like I do. Look at this burrito. It's massive. You guys saw what I got in my burrito. All right, so here we go. First bite of the carne asada burrito without salsa. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Slurp. Salsa mix, slurp on top, no napkins, chip, burrito bite, mm. make a mess, inside of the burrito, get into the vice, chip dip, it's going to be messy relationship advice oops i also got eliminate sorry i'm all over the place today relationship advice guys how many of you are in a relationship i feel relationships change as you age um damn i'm gonna clean this car up I feel like relationships change as you age. 
you can't compare like a 17 year old 18 year old relationship to like a 35 40 but i think one thing that doesn't change is in infidelity cheating mm. Mm. that's one thing that doesn't change because you can cheat at all ages okay I think a lot of it depends, too, on how long you've been with the person. How long have you been with this person? You can't compare a six-month relationship to a ten-year relationship. Mm. One thing that I've learned throughout my relationships... ...is... ...space is very important. Number one... Space is very important. You need to give the person space, the individual. If you're always hounding somebody on their ass, it just makes shit worse, guys. It makes shit worse. Give a person space. If you get in an argument with somebody, if you get in an argument with them, you keep hounding them, it makes things worse. Things escalate. Things get really bad. If you just walk away and learn to walk away from fucking problems, it makes things so much easier. But our emotions, our egos, our feelings, they don't allow us to do that. But your understanding is you're causing more damage by continuing just to go and go and go. Walk away. Okay? When you get in a fight with your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Mm. 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 Oh my god, I'm in a mess. What the fuck? Learn to. Oh my god, guys. Sorry, this is bad. It's the girth on this shit. Walk away, alright? How many of you have false accused your partner? How many of you have false accused your partner of oh, shit? That's another big one. Mm. Oh, God. This is a mess. Don't false accuse your partner. Don't false accuse your partner, man. I don't care how old you are. If you don't know for sure, and it's not facts, don't false accuse because that right there alone could be the end of a relationship. If you're not sure, going back to the same shit, don't go on emotion. Do not go on emotion. And you say, oh, well, that's easy to fucking say. Well, yeah, you know what? A lot of it has to do with maturity, man. Maturity and, and, and being able to handle that, to not do that. Mm-hmm. 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 Regular salsa. Don't false accuse, guys. I feel like that's too much. That goes on too much. That goes on too much. Temptations. Number three. Temptations. My, my, my. Are their temptations. Temptations as a man. Temptations as a woman. Hmm. Oh, he's looking good in that outfit. Oh, he smell good. Makes your mind wonder, right? Ooh, I wonder what this feels like. I wonder what that feels like. And I know as men... Can't sit there and tell me you don't have an imagination. We all have an imagination. So do women. But I feel like as men, bro, we we you know what I'm saying? Our imagination can run real wild. So can the women's, you know, but I don't know, man. I feel like as a man looking at a woman, 
in, in, in society is more appealing than looking at a man for a woman. You know, because women dress very provocative. Some do. How many of you have been out with your ladies and you looked at a girl and she saw you do it? Women notice everything. Women notice everything. That's some more advice for you. You probably already know that. But everything, bro. Mm. My goodness. Everything, bro. Temptation is a motherfucker, bro. Try to ignore your temptations. Your temptations will get you in trouble, bro. Your temptations will make you cheat, bro. Your temptations will make you hurt others, bro. Try to ignore your temptations. If you're out with your girl, if you're out with your man, don't be looking at other fucking girls and guys. That one little glance can cause so much damage. So much damage, bro. going ham huh so much damage number four this should have been number one respect message respect If you don't have respect, forget about it. And respect is one of the harder ones, too, because it goes back to emotion. <clears throat> it goes back to emotion, you know. But I feel like it's really hard to come back when you're having constant fights and even physical fights, you know. That makes it really, really difficult, you know. So always try to respect your partner. I know it's hard, guys. I know it's hard sometimes. You know, your girlfriend might piss you off. Your boyfriend might get you hella mad and be like, what the fuck? Don't be so insecure, you know what I mean? It's hard, man. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Try not to be so insecure. Hey, but I'm getting fucking full, guys. Next time I do this video, I'm going to do like a scenario relationship advice. And I'm going to ask you guys for questions Oops, down below to give me scenarios. And then I'll talk about them. These are just some of my important keys. Not all. To a healthy relationship, I believe. But I'm going to get up out of here, guys. I'm full. I killed most of the burritos. Like more than 80, 70% gone. I am full, guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for tuning in, man. I love you guys. I'll see you guys the next time, man. Peace.